Welcome back for round three of today's Stronghold Conflict uh, event from 401 Games. I'm Travis. I'm Sungho. Welcome, everybody. Um, so there, this is the third of the Stronghold uh, Conflict events that we are running here at 401. Uh, we'll be finishing up the series with the showdown uh, on uh, June 24th here on stream. Uh, so we encourage people who might be uh, in the region to come out and play live. If you're not in the region, come out and uh, tune in for our... our uh, Glowing commentary. Uh, unfortunately, I think Sung Ho is going to bail on us, go down uh, for some net interaction down in Cleveland that weekend. Oh, oh, blame it on me. So if our commentary is better than usual, you know why? Oh, oh. <laughs> Just wow. a few early shots fired. Holy smokes. First the foot stomping, now the, now the low punch. Okay, anywho. Starting off, we got... Anish on the left playing Phoenix and Unicorn. It's pretty typical. And we got Shane playing Crab and Unicorn, which is pretty standard. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's, yeah, I mean, it's pretty yeah. usual. I mean, you see it a little less often now, but still pretty good. Those squad glasses are, are really good, particularly when you have characters that never leave play. I mean, from all the cards in the restricted list, like, sure, uh, Iron Mine's the only probably going to be your restricted card. Yeah. And, and you can see he's already got Karata District up, so pretty strong start for him. Uh, we came in slightly late, so I didn't see if uh, he had used his Satoshi fish for that or if it just happened to be uh, what he flopped. Yeah, I believe all the players have already done their mulligans and stuff, but I'm pretty sure... I think it was in the starting, because there's no cards in the discard pile. That's right. He has got no discard, so you're right. Uh, so both of these players are 2-0 and so far, undefeated. Uh, Shane uh, plays in the Discord League, so some of the people watching may have heard of him. I think he goes s Ruman in the Discord League. I could be wrong. He's also uh, he's done a lot of streams and commentary for them as well, as well as doing commentary for us. Uh, so maybe familiar to some viewers. Uh, Anish, uh, as a local player, has been playing Phoenix since the outset. Um, got a lot of get to a lot of games in now, starting to starting to see some uh, better results in his tournament play as well. Yeah, he's been seeing a lot of interactions that's uh, been super helpful. And with the addition of the Phoenix pack, a lot of the cards that were medium level just got a lot better. So I figured, what do you think Anish called to have claimed in the ring pool? Do you, do you oh, figure, I, I, like... Oh, I don't know yet. I don't think we heard. Okay. Very interesting, going with he, a fire. He may, he may have just said water so that he didn't have to worry about make, declaring a water conflict this turn. He's got the um, got the Prodigy Waves out, so uh, I wouldn't be surprised if water was the one that he called. I think that's a pretty good idea, because you, even if you uh, lose this conflict, you can always just ready your Prodigy Waves after to win. Right. So it's currently 4-2. to two. Uh, I'm pretty sure Shane's probably going to try to put up with two fine katanas, looks like uh, Shane has in his hand. And if Anish does use any sort of attachments, Shane could just give a fake yeah. to Anish and then just it's good to go. So I like that a lot, actually. Also playing out the Watch Commander here, knowing that Satoshi's going to be around for a little while. He's got, he's got the Karata District out, so when he goes fishing with Satoshi, he's probably bringing some dupes up for uh, some extra rounds. Which is the... Which is what I love about Crab, because they always just keep their guys around forever. Like, yeah. from other game, casual games that I've played with other people as well, it's just one character literally just sits and just does... <laughs> like, there was one turn where, like, a Satoshi uh, and, or a Suichi, like, stayed around forever since yeah. round one. So, like, Crab loves doing that. So, right. losing an honor by trying to uh, do a bonsai. Gives an honor? Uh, why did I don't know why Shane gained an honor. Uh, but Anish would have lost lose two there. One for bumping the bonsai. One for the watch commander. There we go. Shane realizes that he's cheating. <laughs> I didn't realize that that's what the ring does. Because I, I would have definitely uh, played more watch commanders. Yeah, and no, that's no what the ability kidding. does. So eight strength to five here. So not going to be a break. But... Uh, Handling went in the conflict. I, I don't know that Shane is going to do anything more here. Seems interesting. Uh, so I'm thinking eight to five, I believe. 
Uh, yeah, eight to five. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. So, I'm thinking. I'm surprised that he brought in the Wayfinder on this conflict. I guess he has the Prodigy to go again, but because I believe Anish has a uh, against the waves in his hands, so he just wants to make sure that he doesn't lose by one point. I guess so. That's all. That's what I can think of. Now, Shane's probably thinking about whether if he wants to bring another character in to try to win this. I, I mean, don't know. What Do you feel like he should? he's basically forced to try to... Uh, Fight no, off. I guess he's thinking about that does not fall. Wow. So it means wow. that Satoshi's not going to bow here in defense. It's pretty good. That's very strong. Doesn't change the, val the value, so he is going to, Anisha's going to win the conflict. Not uh, break, but Probably that's honor fine. the prodigy. And he does choose to honor the what prodigy with the, ring, the fire ring event. So, so using the... You can see that, obviously, he did use uh, his uh, holding to claim the water ring and use the ability to untap uh, or to ready the Prodigy of the Waves. Now, I feel like that holding is only good if you have certain characters that you use yeah. that ability, which... Well, wow. wow. So, Satoshi Trigger, uh, off the top, let's see an Imperial Palace. And, oh, wow, look. I put a Grieve uh, Keeper in my discard, so... I don't know that you get much better than that. <laughs> that is what you. Uh, that is why people say great value. Yeah, I think even better would have been losing two keepers. Well, the keeper, then... keeper, and then palace. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, it could have been slightly better. <laughs> well, I think that was still a very good turn for Shane or activation for Shane there. Yeah. Now. So I don't know. We'll see if he's going to declare a comic. I, he only signed the one character, so I imagine he'll pass because he's got the man does not fall. He won't bow on the next conflict uh, either. So he can defend again and then come back with the final. Oh, no, he's first player. Never mind. Sorry, he can't do that. So why would Anish go for water here? Well, he can unbow the Wayfinder, uh, which doesn't really do anything for him. Uh, would there be a I'm at a bit of a loss. So Kurt Games is the Prodigy of the Wave. Removes that uh, honor. They see a Kurt Games back from Anish here. And we do. Yep. This is the beauty of Watch Commander. Just keep... Yeah, so keep Shane's reminding him he's losing an honor. Yes, that's correct. But I'm pretty sure Anish already did that. So... Nine to nine. Okay. Uh, I feel like that. I mean, I can't. We can't really do anything, but because I didn't see this whole sequence, it feels like Anish shouldn't have that much honor. So uh, let's lost. see what happens. So starting is eleven. Then he gained one from Shane. Go to twelve. Okay. Was that twelve? He played a bonsai. Okay, so he's lost three. Then he's fine. Lost three. And then, you're right, no, he should have lost another one. No, he lost two in the first conflict. Yes. And then lost one here. Yes, yes. Right, because it was a, just the bonsai, lost one for the bonsai, lost one for the watch commander, and then lost another for the watch commander right now. Yep. No, but he would have lost another one for the court games. Oh, that's so including that, yes, I see. Yes, yes. So he's played two cards and then used an additional honor for bonsai. Very interesting. I think Anisha's going so like to try to actually try to break Supernatural this storm. Yeah. So it's another two strength. So Anish is at seven. Shane is at six. It looks like. Yes. Okay. Still doesn't break. So where's the? Uh... What's up? Oh, stronghold. Right. You have the stronghold. Sorry. I, I was trying to figure out where the six point of strength came from. I missed a stronghold activation on Shane's side. Now I wonder if Anish is continually trying to. Oh, what? Uh, of course, right. Because of the keeper. I mean, the keeper is good, but you're 
going to be declaring water next round as well. Like, uh, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be enough to win favor. So I think the effect of another ring may have been more powerful. So, so Shane has got no rings, but he's got two glory from uh, Satoshi and three glory from the Imperial Palace, or three points from the Imperial Palace. Uh, Anish has two rings and two glory on the Keeper, so he's behind by one. Shane gets to claim the uh, political favor. So now my... Anish will probably need to remove some fate from his characters at some point. Now I wonder what Secluded Garden's actual text says, whether if it says you start with a ring already claimed in your pool? You consider it claimed, I believe. Consider it claimed, okay. So it won't actually trigger... You don't actually get anything on a trigger for claiming the ring? That's right, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm going gonna... to just assume they're going to notice eventually they need to remove those fate and instead we'll of going it... over to the table, but... I'll give it another half a minute before they continue their turn. Basically, yeah, if they get if they get to the conflict phase and they still haven't done it, we may go remind them. That's a pretty uh, good start. That's not bad. Yeah, I, I mean, we'll see Tadak come in, I'm pretty sure. Now, now Tadaka doesn't really... Sure, there's Mountain and Court games, but I don't want to lose a... Tadaka because of a uh, way of the crowd. That would be pretty bad. But there is no very cheap costed uh, character as well. So No, but I mean, there's always a skirmisher you can play out of hand. So there, there's ways to get that character pretty much whenever you want for way of the crowd. So, spends two. I would have gone for three. Yeah, I probably would have gone all three. I mean, because you're going to be the one attacking uh, first, which means you will be also gaining a fade off of one of the rings yeah. that you're probably going to attack Void for to try to lower Satoshi, in my opinion. So you're going to see uh, Kasada come into play here. In a I pass like from Anish. I like it. Uh, Shane's going to trigger his Satoshi, so starts discarding some cards. What are we looking for? Another copy of Satoshi? Yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe... No, yeah. It's just, it's just Satoshi at this point. Huh. I mean, Shane saw a lot of things go in the junk there that maybe he didn't want to see. Uh, it was in a couple of Crisis Breakers, copy of Casada. So... Let's see if Anish remembers to draw a card off of the Forgotten Library. Could not. So looks like three to three. Looks that way. Oh, yeah, so, so reminds to draw, then draws three. One, two, three. Cool. So um, the guy just remember to. That first actions are going to be canceled. Yeah. So we'll see how Anish is going to be progressing the game state as the situation goes up. Um, so in this case, I, th I might have been inclined to put Embrace the Void on an opponent's character. Just because there is a chance that the Vanguard, Vanguard Warrior is going to put another turn of fate on them. So you're probably going to be getting two off any of these characters, but there is a chance you get more. I guess, I guess you can dupe... Tadaka as well. And in fact, putting it on Satoshi is probably not a bad idea because if he goes for the third dupe, it's even more likely that he's going to see uh, another fate to pull off with Embrace the Void. I mean, out of this board itself, Satoshi's ability to continually rummage through his pile, he's probably only going to be doing it one or two more times because there's no more going to be any more Imperial targets after that. Well, point. it depends how deep he digs that next time. Maybe yes. they go through uh, for a second time through on his Dynasty deck. So both of them going in, Void to Imperial Palace, Meditation of the Tao, okay. So this might be the opening that yeah. Shane might have wanted, where he might try to get extra fate to maybe have an opportunity to shrink or remove a fate off of Prodigy of the Waves, then 
kill off the keeper and then wave. Yeah, that's perhaps possible. So they're going a value of big ten. Dear goodness. Ten and there's uh, Casada's def defending. I'm, He's pretty I good. Think I think, or no defender. I would defend this. I think so. It's a good province itself oh. already, and oh yeah, they're both coming in. Interesting. Oh no, or just 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 a, toshi. Uh, just a toshi. So this is currently so, five. Yeah. Okay. Ten to five. Not breaking, so that makes sense. That's true. Yep, because of Imperial Palace's plus two. And uh, yeah, if any wants to play any cards, it's going to cost him more honor. Which is basically what Shane wants to happen as well. So Shane's probably deciding on if he wants to. I think first things first, I believe, is to remove Fade off of maybe the Prodigy. And then, oh, yeah. Tadaka. It's the interesting thing here. He takes it off Tadaka. It means he's only going to get... No, he changes his mind. Okay. So the one the one advantage there is um, he gets off the board. But taking it off Tadaka means that he's only going to get one, fire, one trigger off of the Embrace the Void because it'll already have been used this turn. True, true. So Anish passes. Another Kanata. 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 Karata. <laughs> Karate. <laughs> so 10 to 7. Still winning, but not breaking. I pass. Continue to but pass. But it was already not going to be broken. I, I'm, I, I mean, I don't know that you didn't need to do the other katana yet. Why would we even wait? I don't you know. don't put the katana out yet. You, you hope that maybe he's going to play one more card. Lose an honor. Waste it. So triggers a void. Takes one off of uh, Satoshi. So why did Tsudaka not get that? Okay. They're, just, they're getting around to it. So, and he so, chooses the ability to ready up Prodigy. Smart. Yeah. So the, that water ring is one that's considered claim. Oh, there it is. Now, Uses Anish against the wave to unbow Tsudaka. Also has a Gaijin Customs as well. So that's going to be very helpful to ready up. Tadaka again later after another after yeah. another conflict. So Shane's probably gonna do a military earth to try to get his keepers back online. So I'm kind of uh, yeah. At this Let's point, hope I'm, it's public forum. I might have I Ooh. might have been uh, in tempted to take the spyglass first. But he had no fate. Shane had no fate at the oh, beginning, right. so he was forced to. Go in uh, Where? after the ring. You're right. What? I forgot. That's okay. What went after the ring? So Earth, Earth Ring. There we go. I mean, Anish is so confident that he's going to win it. He was already putting it in his claimed area. I would just defend with Tadaka and Prodigy. Because you're probably going to just do a chump conflict with the keeper maybe do an air to go back up some honor fair because you don't want to make uh but then you want to really attack the meditations again though that's the that's a good part of that i mean so anish obviously has another use of uh, against the waves coming from uh Kinsuna's discard right now and he has uh so, skating as his uh, so, stronghold uses tadaka to defend so it's five, seven to five. Karmic twist, interesting. Yeah, it's probably doing the gimmicky turn of putting, the, you know, the dance. Yes. So for those who might not be familiar with the interaction, you can put Embrace the Void on a character that's not uh, non-unique and then move the fade over to another character that has no fade. But the Embrace Interrupt triggers so that all the fade goes to Anish is dead. Oh, but yes, another against the wave in hands as well. So now, would you use... See, I, I don't really like using any other attachments here because then Shane could just steal it. That's a good point. So, like, even if Shane really wants to try to... Or Anish really wants to try the talisman, the Karate District is going to be very nasty. 
And I think I saw a copy of Rebuild in Shane's hand too, so. The trigger meditations to remove a fate from yeah. Kasada. This is currently his fate pool from the Earth Ring. So I'm not really sure there's anything that Anish can do here to change this substantially. He could. No, they, he lost it this way. Yeah, so. Uh, Shane already lost the first conflict, so Kasada's not active right now. That is correct. With Karada District up, I don't think Anish feels that terrible of seeing about his talisman going, getting, getting pinged. But Earth Ring, they do see uh, the, the advantage with Sadaka for Crab is they get a secondary benefit when they claim that ring. I don't know how many events he wanted to uh, get access to. I think it was more about the Keeper Trigger. Same with when Anish attacked with a water ring. That didn't do anything either. He didn't He didn't attack with the water ring. No, the previous turn. Oh. Yeah. So, all right. There's the other against the waves-ish ability, uh, Gaijin Customs. Very strong. It's like another copy so, of... Yeah. With the ability to steal things with Karate, I guess maybe that's the right play. If you have another against the waves in your hand, though, it is, it is tempting to do the thing, to play the cards that you can recur. I agree. So... And here, since Anish has, this is a second conflict, I would probably do a political air. Fire. What do you need? Okay. Yeah. With fire, you couldn't actually hamper the, hamper the Satoshi or bump one of your, or bump Tadaka. So he's already used it twice, so that's not going to do anything. But it's a value of four, nine. I would imagine no defenders. I'm surprised. I oh, mean, because he's not really doing anything with his keeper anyways. He can save an honor. I think when Anish is trying to force... But the problem is... I guess Anish doesn't know that Shane has a rebuild in his hand. So he's hoping that Shane doesn't have one. So he could try to just break it and then go after... But clarity of purpose is also going to be helpful to keep Tadaka up for a but while. But why? Why? Like, there's not. Oh. You don't really need him. No. So, yeah, Shane loses the honor for unopposed, and then steals one. Okay. I don't know if I bother stealing rather than just taking two. I mean, you're probably not going to pressure him to just. Although, that's an East does try to play to dishonor sometimes. So. And he passes his Rugalvik action. Now, do we get Shane to do an attack of fire? Oh, no. I she goes try to ready someone else again. Yeah. Well, not. Okay. He really wants to bring the ring. I understand, but I, I feel like I would have used my stronghold ability and recur the one in my discard. Unfortunately, uh, Kunin and Sawa can only do that during a conflict. Oh, right, okay. As Victor and I, we realized that as soon as we played it during the initial release of it, I thought the ability was too strong <laughs> by itself. So, it's, it's good, but... I feel like if it said you could do it any time would have been insane and everybody would have played it. So here comes the rebuild again. Try to keep around the Imperial Palace. So he did that just for as a potential defender that he readied him? No, I believe Anish is probably trying to just get the, the Imperial favor away well, no, but from there, he, why Why ready before he plays the Imperial Palace then? He already has the favor. No, but because if Shane did rebuild and keep it around... Shane would still keep it because the value of five compared to Anisha's value of four. Now, since keeper is up, it's a value of six against five. No, Shane has a keeper as well. No, so it's five. And a ring. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Perhaps... 
Uh, he didn't want to force a change? <laughs> Misha has seven because of the secluded shrine. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry, thank you. So it's considered as a claimed ring in its pool, so he has three rings. I see. Would that have affected first turn as well? That would have. We totally forgot about that. Uh, it may have. Because they were... No, 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 no. No one would have had the favor. Instead yeah. of... Yeah, okay. Well, it's too late now, but... And the political favor didn't really... Wasn't meaningful that turn. Yeah. It's a very big Satoshi there. My goodness. Well, he's going to definitely be able to keep... To get a dupe out here. If he wants to. Oh, my. The Lighthouse. Interesting. It's a lot of strongholds to be playing. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of holdings. Or, yeah, strongholds. Yes, yes. I, I know stronghold. what you meant. I know what you meant. No, I know, but the, the listeners are going to be judging me on my improper use of the terms. So, if Shane did have a way of the crab, this would have been a great time to play it. Yeah. I mean, he, he who, who cares about losing Tadaka when it has zero? You just kill uh, Tadaka? Yeah, seems yeah. okay. No, no, he he could have. Yeah. But now, Anisha's probably going to play the Solemn Scholar. That would have been nice if Anish still kept the secluded. I know. Uh, but. Oh, well. So, Spyglass, Court Games, and Fan. I'd say. Toss the Spyglass to the bottom. Keep Court Games on top. And no, then discard Court oh, Games. Discard Court Games. To try to feed another. No, but no, Shane could. couldn't have played it anyway. Because the Zadok is still alive. Yeah. Well, all, And also because his character is going to stay around forever. Uh, That's true. Fans are pretty good. So just going to be hearing a little bit of noise. A pretty big Although event maybe he's just today. thinking Satoshi's already full. I don't need more attachments. Fair enough. I feel like maybe three to four bid numbers. Oh, Two to one. Okay. I feel that's a sign that Anish is trying to put continue to put honor pressure on Shane, but I don't know. I just those Phoenix tools are good. I kind of want a few more in my hand. I agree. It's the compared to other clans, Lion has a really good dynasty side. I think Phoenix uh, is stronger from their conflict side. Yeah. So see spot has come out on uh, Oh dear. Tadaka. Shane could just grab that spyglass, but maybe that's what Anish is baiting Shane to do. Might be. So, exactly. Exactly nope. what I thought. So, he's going to grab the spyglass, toss it over to Satoshi again for God knows how big. My apologies. My chair right, is... So uh, did, uh, yeah, so he did use it to get the talisman out. I don't think Shane is all that worried about having one turn of the talisman. I don't think so either. Now, the one downside, he didn't go for the dupe of uh, Satoshi anyways. So it would have been a way to make sure Satoshi is going to hit the meditations. But it doesn't matter in this sequence. Shane just does an attack of maybe fire against meditations of the Tao. Now, I can't remember if Anish drew an extra card off a of Forgotten Library. I don't think I saw it. I, well, I wasn't paying enough attention. Yeah. yeah. He has not. Anish has not played any cards for a stronghold yet. It doesn't seem like. He's passing. Hey, this is the first time today the game is not over already. That is. Gr Good call, good call. Yes, we are. We have passed the thirty-minute mark, and yeah. we are still in the game. I I don't think I think we're going to see this game go to time. 
Uh, this might before, get close. Like it, they, they, there might be a win at time, but I, I think we'll be getting to the full hour mark in, in this match. All right. So Shane declaring a fire political. Uh, it doesn't doesn't care about all those fly katanas he's wasting. He just get those spy glasses instead. Draws two cards. Uh, strength so of seven. Good. So good. The political here. If Tadaka defends, that's a value of three, four, five, four. Really. Yeah, it'll be four plus one. Oh, no, he's got a military favor. Never mind. Um, it look, looks like he's got a clarity in hand, clarity of purpose in hand, so he can defend here without having to um, bow. Which you can get a lot of juice out of because that way you can. Um, yeah. So I feel like. So the problem is Tadaka again, like maybe Anish has to yet burn another ability to try to stop it. But what ability do you stop? Like do you just burn an ability? So You may just burn your stronghold ability. Yeah. But the, the stronghold has so many good abilities, though. Like you can do. Okay, so loses an honor, spends a fade. Karmic twist, but it stops. All right, see. Okay. So yeah, he does a karmic tricks to move the uh, fade from Shujisuki to Keeper. That's his sacrificial event to Kasada. Yep. <clears throat> but I can't tell. Can. Can you still use meditations even if a, char a character has no fate on it? No, because it, it wouldn't change the game state. Right. I think players just have to be a little bit more cautious about how they look their yeah. prov uh, their provinces, just to not get a peek of their. Yeah, I think you gotta like leave the one card on the table. Yes. Moves him before, the oh, before the throne, okay. So, yeah, as I was saying, I think Anish does play with a little bit of a dishonor strategy. Uh, they did not forget about Watch Commander. Anish did pay a, an honor for playing the card. So now, I can't tell if Tadako is still defending this or not. It looks like he is, I, or is he not? Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel I, like it's unopposed. I, I, I feel it's unopposed at this point because he's got everything off to the side. And I mean, Victor here's a table, and uh, he's got zero to seven. So I rely on our producer right now. Um, I would say send him angry email, but uh, if he's wrong, but that angry email goes to me too. Yeah, yeah, he's confirming that he does. It is definitely no defenders. Which Shane, I guess, probably just wants to just leave it be after that. Fire ring probably try to honor. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's better to dishonor their characters, yeah. right? So, ooh, assassinates by Suki. Interesting. Uh, uh. So, but you see before the throne at this point. So, do you really want to be playing your assassin? And he should be losing yet another honor because Watch Commander is still in play. So he should go to four instead of uh, five. Now Wait, wasn't he at nine? He was at eight. He was at eight. Okay. So yeah. So it went to four, then to three, then to five. Wow. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I was like, why did Tanaka get bowed? Huh? Dishonor. Right. Yeah. That's a cute token. What is that? Is yeah, that I like don't a know, token I don't, committing seppuku? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah, I don't cute. know where Adish got those tokens. I don't think I've seen him play with those yet. Must be a new edition. Yeah. So now, Anish probably his 
this might be good. He Anish does like a political error to perhaps either defend the wall or uh, the problem is shameful display is still good and Anish knows that Shane has a fan. Oh yeah, exactly as I thought. Air. Manicured garden. Okay. And what defenders so, does Shane have? So one, so. two, three. Uh, four. Is he not going with a scholar as well? Yeah, it's still three, including. Oh, dishonored. Sorry. I defend with both. Oh, just the. Uh, okay. That's a very interesting uh, idea. <coughs> okay. That, changing his mind, it looks like he is going to defend with both. No, be, I, I feel like Shane wants to do this as well because Shane also has a copy of Talisman as well. So you can just send that over to defend the wall, win the conflict, and then gain to honor. Or maybe steal well, one from Anish as well. I guess. But I mean, if he uses his own Talisman, he can't use Karada to steal it later. But it's, oh, okay. So even if it's you can only, owned you, by... You, you can only have one copy uh, of a unique card that you control or own. So tries to clarity, ca cancels. Okay. So it's three to th three? It's three to three. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, no, three to five because he bumped with the stronghold. I mean, and he should spend two fate right now on events that did nothing. And that didn't really allow him to, like the first time, it didn't allow him to really change the outcome of the battle. Shane is thinking exactly what I'm thinking of. Sure, let Anish keep a copy of Talisman around, but I get to use my Talisman to win this conflict. Yeah, I like it. So it's back to Anish's yeah. turn. Passes. Oh no, gains a fade off of manicured. Yep. Pass again. So now it's going to use clarity purpose. Cause okay, sure. So Tadaka won't bow here. I don't know. I think going to defend the wall would have been so much better here. Yes, it would have been. But still, that's fine. I mean, Gaining an honor off of the Keeper Initiate and reducing an honor off of Song Scholar. Still pretty good, too. So it's uh, two to nine? Seven? Seven? Two to seven? Yeah, I think it's seven, not six, but Shane's did dice. I not uh, see, did I not see you seven? Did, you did. Shane oh, just okay. has six on his dice. Okay. Oh boy. What shall we see? The lighthouse, which has shameful display. Okay. Mm. I had a 50 50. <laughs> so, what would. What ring is good here? Earth seems pretty good. Oh, I, I, I think. I think he has to. Oh, interesting. I would be. I wouldn't want to leave an undefended battle after this. So I would have to lose another fate. Water. Interesting. What kind of ring, though? Or oh, what province? Yeah. So water converted? is good. So water. Either he's going to waste his defense here, or um, he's going to be able to ready one of his characters. Right. Because to see the issue is here. Anisha is going to defend that. No problem. You're looking at a value of four. Sure. But it's better It's better than him attacking. Well, it's not going to be good because Anish has a copy of... Of what? Against the waves in his hand. So it's actually four, oh, to, four to one. Oh, I thought he would played both of them. He, has, he got a third he's one already? Got a, no, he's got a third copy. Oh, but he, has no, he has no um, fate left. He's about to gain one because he's defending. Oh, Oh.
So gain one for. He hasn't done it yet. I think it's still. We're on call. Like I think we're still in the call. Shane still hasn't seen a copy of Bonsai either. Oh dear. Yep. Passes. Gains a fake. Gets a keeper out as well. <laughs> Yikes. Uh oh. He's got no characters ready. I think I think Shane forgot about the um, the water the the, the roll. What Realized. was? No, see, I don't understand. Okay. I, I just don't think he was thinking about the fact that he would gain the fate and the keeper. Um, That's right. That makes more sense. Okay. I, even then, I think he was just thinking that he wasn't remembering the fate. He might have remembered the keeper, but. I'm surprised that Anish actually doesn't go for the against waves here. Because she He, he may be just uh, tunnel focused on Dishonor. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this board. Void does nothing. Void does one thing. Yeah, he's already used the ability. Just in case he can play a character, let's not go with the shameful. But I think Sheen already Oh, he already used it. Yeah, never mind. So two to zero. Yep, on a post. Goes to two. Oh my. Draws. Let's a card at random. Okay. Yep. So Shane, Imperial Pasta let Shane keep the uh, fate. Uh, okay, okay, I was like, I can't remember if I saw the reprieve go on Satoshi. That's a lot of stuff to lose, if not. There's, there is one. There's both a reprieve on Satoshi and Kasada. Yeah. So, well, yep, those ones and that one. Now, I don't, did we see, we saw at least one Iron Mine. Uh, get burned by Satoshi, so he can rebuild into that if he has he finds a rebuild. But I mean, he's not going to be drawing a lot of cards. Well, no, sorry, I take that back. He's got the double spyglass Satoshi, so he's still got some cards. I think he has another spyglass in his hand. <laughs> My goodness. I, I don't know if either of those spy. Yeah, both of those spyglasses are Anisha's spyglasses. They are both Anisha's spyglasses. You're right. This crowd district has been literally doing all the work. So I would toss. I woo. I might even have tossed the Karada District at this point. No, I, and he still has a few cards that he probably wants to steal. So, like, what are the big things that he's going to steal at this point? There's a lot of spyglass, but. Um. Uh, I, I yeah, you're right. I guess I can't think of another. Uh, yeah. So another Psalm Scholar in play for Anish. We saw Hiruma Yojimba go in play for Shane. Also going to play the Shuji Suki. So we probably go to Dials. And uh, Anish I'm passes. Thinking one, one each, because no one's going to go above two. Like, no one's going to be two. Maybe Anish might, but. Yeah, one, and one. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I'm thinking Anish did miss the library this time. No, he did. He did yeah, do it this time. He did do it. Yeah. So, I would do a water attack, cover the Satoshi, because that's a monster, and go political, maybe. Yeah. You can Ugh. prevent him from getting... But the shameful still is so good. Ugh. Man, this is uh So he coverts uh adds covert to Tadaka for water conflicts. Yeah. But you kinda wanna get Earth too though. But the problem is you might not win the Earth if Shane defends with everyone. So that's a interesting predicament that we're in. Yeah. Hmm. 
Very interesting board we're in. I mean, there's a really, like, so, Covert again, big to win that water ring. You get to not only win, the, if you win the water ring, you can bow Satoshi. Exactly. So I'm thinking, what do you commit to this attack that will also be able to not, well, funny, she puts up a sassy, but you can't play it. So, all right, so Covert Tadaka. Yep. Covert Satoshi, yep. It doesn't matter what type of conflict. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Anish does have a Supernatural Storm in his discard. Yes. So he could go probably go a little bit higher. So, so that's, a, that's a good value. It's a four-point uh, Supernatural Storm. If he plays the... So Political uh, Water at the Medicare Gardens. What's the card again? Sorry. The, the one that looks at a province. The HE Wayfinder? Yes. So you could also play that for another plus, uh, yep. plus one. More twice. plus two if he puts it in conflict. Yeah. So uses the ability. I'm trying to look at the side of the screen. Oh, Watch Commander. Oh, that's going to be nasty. Mountain does not fall, too. It's a difficult choice here. I think it's Watch Commander. Yeah. Jeez, look at that monster of t Satoshi. It's, it is gross. Oh, my. Satoshi just can't wait to go into a conflict anytime. Oh. He may heck? not get the opportunity. True. So currently four to six for Anish, but he's got no. some ways to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fun. I see what you meant. So brings out a Wayfinder in the conflict, going to five, as we expected. We're looking to see rallies to the cause. Okay. That's interesting. A lot of crab decks. I thought they would r normally run Riot in the streets because they have a lot of Bushi, but I guess if you want to do a big switch, that works too. Yeah. So it's still five to six. Chain is winning. I don't. Th I don't think the, the deck that Chain is playing is like super Bushi heavy. I mean, right. they've got they've got enough, but oh, there's yeah. a lot of other characters that he wants to oh, invest boy. in. This is not what Anish wanted to see. No. Not a one bit. At least you got to play the Wayfinder before that happens. Yep, here's one honor gone. Vengeance touch. Honor Tadaka? Oh, right, because it cancels. And it's not going to be nasty. Gain of eight. Five, six, seven. Oh, Shane has, yeah, he's not earning a pen. It's going to be tough. Yep, so, supernatural for five. Supernatural out of hand. We're going to ten, it looks like. Ten to six. Well, it looks like he pointed at eleven. And are we missing something? So it's oh no! So political. Four. So it's ten to seven, right? So political favor. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was like, that doesn't sound right. Okay. Ten to seven. Let's move over to shameful. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, had he gained the fate yet? He did. Yeah, last time. He did. Oh boy. Yep. Honor. Yujimbo. Dishonor. Yep. So we're looking at a two-point swing for both. So eight to eleven now. We're not. Yeah, eight, nine to eight for Shane. Shane's forgetting about his political favor. Right. 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 right, 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 right. So. So. So it looks like. Oh boy. This is very... It's getting a little bit... So Anish, Anish can go again, but Shane has an already fan. But he's going to lose another stronghold. honor, though. It's going to hurt. He's already at two now. Yeah, but he's like... Oh, it's five, right? So that'll actually be enough. Uh, so I don't know if Shane can get up more than another plus four. He can still use stronghold... 
he paid six. He paid, he paid honors. He did play. So, Shane, if he really wants to not let this conflict lose, he can play a copy of Wayfinder to go up one, then boost every one of your teammates plus one again to stay within reasonable distance. Okay. He could also put use the uh, spy glass. Yep. As a last ditch effort. Yep. I would not let the ring lose. Okay. Sure. That's okay. Interesting. Jeez. Now, I don't know how Anish is going to actually defend this onslaught now. Because he's going to have to defend. Once Tanaka just shows up by himself, that's going to in, uh, entice a... Oh, because he has a, a last copy of Against the Waves. Okay. So he can kind of still defend, which is nice. But... That's the final copy now. Ooh. Yeah. Oh boy! No. Reaction covert. Listen, both Tadaka or Tadaka, Kasada and Ambusher covert Tadaka. What? I don't even even know that you need to send Kasada. Don't you want to try to win the air? Uh, I don't. I, Anish has no cards in hand. Cannot access this thing. You know what his strength is going to be. You only need two, right? No, but you want them to lose an honor, too. That's a... No, no, but if he sends the Skirmisher and the Wayfinder alone, it's two to two, right? And if they... If they uh, but the Talisman to can still be activated to switch the honor. Like, he, Anish has a Talisman as well, so it's not technically just Oh, so they can end up two to two. Yeah. So toss him into a shameful. So that's why I'm saying he wants. He, that's why I thought Shane would have defended the. It seems like defending would have been good there. Really. Goes in. Spends a fade anyway. Okay. All right. So. So it didn't covert. He did covert to Daka. Okay. I think he's oh. in, the niche is insinuating I hate, I hate that. People, I hate people who pull their things they're defending with back. So it's eight to one. Very good numbers. Although I suppose with uh, shameful. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, um, way of the crowd. Yeah. Get that in the discard. I mean, discard bottom doesn't really matter. Hmm. So, uses the talisman as we expected. Yep. We're going over to shameful. Yep. They're both defending now. I guess they were both defending. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. Okay. I guess they are both defending. Yeah, okay. So, ready keeper Sh or Shane honor. is anticipating the dishonor. Shane, so Shane has given up on his dice entirely. So it's Shane's at seventh strength. Yes, yeah, so seven to four. Not... Unfortunately, not breaking. So. Kill off the Adept of the Waves? Uh, does Shane not know how much strength to, uh, Kasada has? Wait, this is political? There you go. No. Okay. To seven. Okay. Interesting. So, I think you just let this go now. And like, Shane can't break it. Doesn't look like it. Let's it go. Shane's like, 
Why didn't you play a katana that I could take from you? <laughs> Is that why he's shaking his fist? Yep, just says, here you go. Oh my. Oh, that don dishonor on a skirmisher that's going away is also a bit pretty big. Yes. So I'm thinking either going here to get yourself two honor so that you don't die. No, you skill and put him on one honor. Although, although, wait, no. Uh, you're you, you're losing you're not, two. You're not dying because keeper is also going to be leaving. So it's a net minus one. Net so minus two. You go for, there's that there's that solemn scholar down at the bottom there. He's also dishonored too. Looks like it. Oh, snap. Okay. So we're going at four to one. Yeah, four to one. Wow, this is going to be a very... This flop is going to be very critical next turn. Because I don't think Shane has another copy of Reprieves or, Iron, or uh, Rebuilds no. in his hand. So let's hit on the manicured. Huh. Yep, just boost up to two. Can you win? Can Shane win this conflict? Uh, military, no. Oh. <laughs> really worried about his honor loss, so he goes for two honor. What? Good thing he did that. If he didn't take the two honor, he would have lost here. How did how did Anish know that? Oh. Wow. Actually, no, it's bad. Shane's, he's going to be able to put it to dishonor. He's going to win here. He's going to lose for one yeah. for undefended. He's going to put a dishonor on a character leaving play, and that yep. is the game. And that's it. Yep. So they, they realize that. Shane's going to win by not here, but at the end of the round, there'll be four dishonored players leaving play and one honored player. So it'll be a net of three loss, and he's going to lose one for undefended from this conflict. So that was a, a good win to pull out there. Good to see that line of play. Um, that might have been why he was—he uh, didn't push harder in some of the other conflicts earlier.